Hey guys, I'm at the beach. This is Narragansett Town Beach. That is uh, the Narragansett Bay. The Atlantic Ocean's that way. This place is really beautiful. And it's a beautiful day. Got my book, uh, Salty Waltz Portable Antenna Sketchbook. I'm gonna build, step by step, the Ribicoff antenna, which is in here. If I, I'll find it later. Anyway, this is the book, as you can see, pretty cool. A lot of antennas, a lot of sketches. And um, I wanted to come out here. I get a lot of, uh, hear a lot from people that say, you know, you, you talk about, you say you're building an antenna, but you know, you break and you come back and it's up. I'm gonna go step by step. And from cutting the wire and taping it to the pole to putting the pole down, the counterpoise system, everything, I'm gonna build it today. This is it right here, the Ribicoff antenna in my book. I'm gonna put it up. Um, this is a great antenna, a lot of history to it. I've got other videos that explain that. Um, it was developed by an Italian um, ham, and uh, he also operated and lived in Africa. I know he's back in Italy now because he recently uh, commented and, and talked to me. So really cool to uh, get to, to talk to him as well. Anyway, let's go build an antenna. To start with driven element time i'm going to do the driven element which is uh 25 feet 7.6 meters this is monster speaker wire i get it real cheap at uh, here in the united states at walmart um copper wire comes 100 foot at a time so there's it's double so you're getting 200 feet of of wire and what i do to start off with it for the driven element we're going to measure it 25 feet so got my tape what I, one thing I do like, too, with these tape measures is I like to get one. These are cheap. It has both imperial and metric. So what I do is measure, to start off with, I start with about an inch extra. If you can see that on the end, you'll see why in a minute. Then just start reeling out what I get. So the measurement I want, which for this one's going to be 25 feet. Keep going here. Going. <laughs> going. This may be one of my longer videos, to be honest. We're going to build this thing and then get on the air with it and see how it performs. What a day it is. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. 24, we're almost there. 25 feet right there. I got it. Okay. So, with that said... Wire cutter, wire, wire tool, here we go. Got my 25 foot mark right here. Spoof. There we go, okay. I've got actually two driven elements. Only gonna use one though. So what we'll do from here, is split them. As you see, pull the wires apart. I could use one of these. A lot of times with salt water, I'll just use one wire and put it out just a single, like down into the salt water as the single counterpoise. I'm going to build this thing legit as if I was going to have it in the backyard away from water today. We'll build a put counterpoise wires down next. And I'll show you that. Let me get this all the way out. And then what we'll do is I'll show you the end point feed and we'll hook to the feed point and how we'll do it. Okay, as I was saying earlier, measure an extra inch. So we got an inch here. We'll clip it off right there. And now what I'm going to do is take, you see, this is 16 gauge wire, the 16 mark right there. That one inch and strip it off. I'll put this in my pocket so I don't pollute the beach here. And then here, I'm just going to twist these around. So this will be what goes to my feed point. Just twist it around like that. This is a, a down and dirty, quick, easy antenna. Yes, you can put connectors on. Yes, that's not what we're doing today. We're hacking and whacking and having fun. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is my pole. This is a the X Commander Expedition Pole, a little under 10 meters long. The antenna itself is 7.6 meters. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna extend it. I've already driven a piece of PVC pipe in the ground with a rubber mallet. That's why I'll slide the pole on top of. But for now, I'm gonna extend the pole. And we're gonna uh, get it up and run it so we can tape that driven element to it. 
little bit at a time. These poles are so easy to, to extend that go up, twist, up, twist, up, twist, and so on. So let me get this pole built, or should I say extended. Okay, now that I have the pole fully extended and the driven element cut, I'm going to start taping it at the bottom. Now, one thing I know from experience with mine, when I slide this on the PVC pipe, I have a lot left over, so it doesn't go all the way down the ground. So maybe 100 millimeters, four inches or so, is where I'll start taping this thing to the pole. Now, I usually go straight up. Some people like to twist it around thinking it makes a difference. I've found that it doesn't really. So what I do is just about every meter or so, just take some, take some uh, black, simple black electrical tape. If you're an American, you can get it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a roll. Wrap it around, pull it, boom, and it's on. I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to tape the rest of this on the pole now all the way up to uh, 25 feet or 7.6 meters. And now that I have the wire taped to the pole, I used to like to do it around the joints too. I'm going to slide the, slide the pole right on the PVC. Boom, there it is. Okay, next up, my ballon, or I should say unun, four to one unun. Gonna put it to the bottom. Now, I said I was gonna do this the right way with four counterpoise wires, but as you can see, the tide's coming in on me. I don't know if I have enough time. I wanna get this thing done quick. So I'm using the other half of that wire, and I'm just gonna go with one counterpoise into the salt water. My book explains everything. This can also be done four, five, 16, as many counterpoise wires as you want, but as you can see, this time's coming in. I want to get this thing up quick, see if I can make a few quick contacts. Okay, time's running out on me. The executive decision made quick. Let's see if we can make a few quick contacts. There it is, the 10 meter DX Commander Expedition pole. And I was gonna show you here, the ununtaped to the, to the bottom, the PVC pipe. I've got to believe this is 25 feet of coax wire coming down to my Zygu G90 and a LiPo 4 10 amp hour battery. So let's see if we can make some contacts real quick with the Rivikoff. Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Oh. Note to self, the tide comes in a lot faster in Rhode Island than it does in Virginia Beach and uh, in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Wow. Uh, a lot of breath. I grabbed things, put them up. I thought I was going to lose it all, but I got it together and I kind of made the right call to get up off the beach. I really wanted to demonstrate the antenna and then operate with it, but um, just show how to build it, and especially showing the book. Um, wow, the beach here, the reason I, I went down that little area there, beach is just packed with people today. A lot of, uh, mostly I could tell, it looked like uh, kids from the uh, University of Rhode Island, a lot of them. So I went down that little wall there, up against the wall, but um, I should have known better. Uh, I could see the break. This is where surfers were out here. I could see the break coming in. Um, I kind of knew. I thought I had about an hour, or hour and a half. I had about 10 minutes, man. It was tough. It really was. But lesson learned. You can build this antenna. I, I have, I'll link to other videos I've done. And this antenna is just amazing. It's also in the book as well. You know what? It's not a total loss. I'm hungry. Let's go get something to eat. Okay, there's one thing I love, fell in love with when I was working in Kauai, Hawaii, is pokey. Gansett pokey. Let's go check it out. All right, here's the menu. Definitely getting ahi tuna and Atlantic salmon, and I'm going to build it from there. All right, this is going to be the best 
uh, dine in the car, uh, take out fast food I've ever had for sure. I uh, grabbed it to go. It was like one table in there. It was taken. Um, what do we have here? We have um, Atlantic salmons in there. I have, uh, this is ginger over here. Uh, ahi tuna, um, some avocado, all over rice, white rice with uh, sesame seeds. Let's see, what else do we have in there? We have uh, some cucumber, uh, some edamame, uh, what else? Uh, some seaweed, oh, some seaweed right there. And that's real obvious seaweed right there. Um, Good stuff, man. Looks great. Also, I got a, appears to be a local Yacht Club Diet Cola. Uh, that's a, we'll, ch we'll check that out. Uh, serve cold, of course. It's nice and cold, too. So let me, uh, let me dig into this, uh, this pokey right here, and we'll see how it is. Oh, wow. This is absolutely delicious. Some, uh, there's some ahi tuna right there. There's my uh, Atlantic salmon. Traditionally, you would not be eating Atlantic salmon in a Hawaii, Hawaiian poke bowl, but um, hey, it works for me, and I love it. Uh, let me get this down. Oh, I got a food buzz. You know, there is such thing as a salmon buzz. It kind of gives you like a, it's good for your brain, especially raw salmon like I just ate. I love it. I love pokey. I love I love seaweed on top. I think I might have been like a Japanese fisherman in a former life because <laughs> I just love that type of food. I really do. Anyway, enough about that. That's kind of like I know people are uh, like not into pokey, but I am. And it's a little not not too traditional for us, uh, us Americans, whatever. What I really wanted to do was build something out of my my book today. And the book is cool. I love it. I'm so proud of it. Yeah, I'm going to pat myself on the back a little bit. All the sketches are in here. Um, like I said, I just really wanted, uh, there's, you guys might remember that antenna, um, uh, really wanted to, to have a good time and, and just show, uh, step by step me building the, uh, the Ribicoff out of the uh, book here. Uh, it's kind of funny though. Uh, it, it was, uh, I don't, I won't say it was a fail. I had a good time out on the beach for the, uh, 20 minutes I was there. Here's the Ribicoff antenna. Um, Salty Waltz. Portable Antenna Sketchbook is available now from the American Radio Relay League. Coming soon to Amazon. I'll put the link below if you're interested in the book. Uh, put a, this, this is like a year's worth of work uh, for me. I put a lot of work into it, and um, I, I'm happy with it. And, you know, to be a published author, especially to be published by the uh, American Radio Relay League, is such an honor. I just I sometimes I pinch myself. I can't believe it. I really can't. But, um Anyway, um, if you're interested in building any of those, I do have another video where I go step by step and it wasn't a disaster with the tide coming in on me. I'll link that one under there as well, uh, how to build antennas. Because I get that question a lot from people. They say, yeah, you just throw the antenna up. We don't see you actually building it. And I kind of wanted to show the little nuances of uh, like where I leave an inch, off, I strip an extra inch off the wire. So let's just say a 25 foot wire for the Ribicoff was actually 25 foot one inch and I strip that roll it around twist it a lot of people put connectors they get really into building antennas mine are down and dirty man I really I, I probably waste a lot of wire and I shouldn't but uh I, I just love building antennas that way and, and it's like I don't really have that one antenna I'm going to take out over and over and over again I want to play with a different antenna every time I go out so I don't put a lot of I could probably put good connectors on it you know, a case, put it in a bag or whatever and save them. Shame on me for not doing that. Maybe I should start an antenna company. It would probably make me want to, like, build every one of them wire and make them look a little nicer than the hack job that I do and sell antennas. Nah, there's too many people already doing that. Anyway, guys, if you're into building antennas and operating portable and just having fun and then watching me get fat as I eat seafood, please like and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Salty Walt, K4OGO. Stay salty, my friends.